Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Daily News on Breaking News on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Facebook group, which is Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel and remember, guys, to turn on the notification bell not to miss any of our new uploads. We upload each and every day here on your favorite channel. And so, guys, a few days ago, I talked about uh, three Zimbabwean uh, men who escaped from custody and uh, two Vagabatwa, but one is on the run. And uh, but see, the two Zimbabwean men who escaped from police custody in the Popo province last uh, Wednesday and uh, were rearrested have been each jailed for an effective 20 days for committing several armed robberies in the neighboring country. John Fine, 36, and Clifford Mutonori, 34, were rearrested on Saturday along with South African figures Mandisha, 34, following a shootout with the police. Their fourth accomplice, Dennis Wawe, a Zimbabwean, is still on the run. Limpopo police spokesperson Brigadier Mutlafela Mujapelo confirmed the latest development last night. John Fine and Clifford Mutonori were each sentenced to 20 years imprisonment for four counts of robbery with aggravating circumstances, three counts of possession of illegal firearm and ammunition, and one count of contravening the Immigration Act, he said. Their local accomplice figures Mandisha 35 was also sentenced to 22 years imprisonment for similar charges. Brigadier Mujapelo said the armed robbers were in the habit of terrorizing motorists along the N1 road. The motorists, he said, would have stopped on the roadside to relieve themselves or experience breakdowns. In some instances, the gang would throw spikes on the roads to immobilize the motorists whom they would then rob at gunpoint. The crimes were committed in 2019 under the policing areas of Bela Bela, Modimelo and Mokopane said Brigadier Mujapelo, a dedicated team of investigators derived from the police stations was assembled to work in a coordinated manner and to investigate all the cases that were being committed along this highway. Provincial Police Commander Lieutenant General Tembi Adebe said the investigators worked tirelessly to ensure that dangerous criminals were removed from the communities. So I think it's a fair judgment. Uh, these gentlemen are going to be in prison uh, until they are 50 something years unless we can support a parole you know maybe whatever maybe 12 or 13 years we all know could in south africa parole in support moon at a certain period of time but you see they're gonna be locked up for a long 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 time and uh, these are one of the few zimbabweans who are committing crimes in south africa and uh, panama zimba south africa uno para chete and again do one no spoilers started uh mazimba zamba ava mazimba zamondi do one watch your language tower and i saw and so guys now what to get any latest uh, regarding to that because we did talk about it uh, last wednesday that was a kind of so saturday here saying uh two about and one is still on the run this gentleman is still on the run and so it is what i say but as we get more information regarding to it we will come back here again his name is uh dennis Ove. he's the guy who is are still on the run someone that i'm going in at home zimbabwe or at home mozambique somewhere there he is on the run but the police are still looking for him and it's a pipe daily news on breaking news prints mila entertainment tv remember guys to uh, subscribe to the channel and follow us on all our social media platforms instagram facebook and also on our facebook group which is a uh, prince mila entertainment tv we welcome new subscribers who are watching us for the first time welcome to our channel welcome to prince mila entertainment tv and to all our loyal subscribers we have been with us since day one big up to you guys a uh, salute salute and i uh, thank you very much for the support and uh, that you'll be giving us since day one up to today really really appreciate it because personally mimica i was from nogoti thank you very much for the support that you've been giving us here so thank you very much for listening and watching uh daily news on breaking news which comes to you guys each and every day each and every hour keeping you guys up to date with what is happening in zimbabwe and uh, surrounding countries as long as it affects my zimbo we have to talk about it here on your favorite channel which is uh, prince miller entertainment tv so thanks for listening and watching bless up